Well, thank you so much for helping my project. Uh, could you say a little bit about yourself? Hi, thanks for the opportunity, Nathan. And um, I'm Rohana Dodler. Um, I've been um, uh, studying at Rice University for Masters in Space, but um, I've done my undergraduate in computer science. And I also have done my Masters in computer science, worked for decades, and now I'm here. And thanks for the opportunity. And uh, you probably already know this because you're studying space uh, studies, but did you know that NASA's plan is to send astronauts uh, back to the moon? Yes, I do know that. Yes. Uh, did you know they're planning to send a, a Canadian around the moon? The first yes, non- that's, Yes, that's true. Yes, I, I did hear about that. And I figure since you're Canadian, that must be very exciting. Yes, it is very exciting, yes. Um, so what do you think about them going back to the moon? I think it is um, exhilarating and it is uh, something that we are going to find something new, which we have not known up until now. And uh, where do you see humanity in 200 years? Um, I think we're going to be so close to the space and not realizing how far it is, but we will um, capitalize on the resources that are working on it. So that's what I I think in another decades and uh, centuries, we're going to know something more where we're comfortable, where we couldn't be comfortable now. So you see humanity expanding beyond the Earth in 200 years? Yes, I definitely see. And uh, people living on Mars and... Yes, I do. I do see that. And I guess you hope to make it happen, actually. Yes, I will. Thank you. (laughs) If you could, would you take a trip to space? Yes, I would. Um, How far would you go? Um, I can say space is um, limitless, so I can do that, just in my brain. I, I think we, I have the the wherewith to understand it, where we can go. It, it doesn't bother me. So if they started a Mars colony and they're like, we're ready for colonists to come, you would sign up? Yes, I would. And if they started a trip to another star system, they're like, it's going to be your great, 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 great grandchildren that ultimately will be there. Would. You would do that too? Yes, I would. That's awesome. Sounds like uh, you have a real sense of adventure. Yes, yes, I do. Uh, Well, um, that's all the questions I had. Do you have any questions for me or anything else you'd like to talk about? So what is your project about, uh, Nathan? Um, Well, I think this decade is going to be transformational in terms of space flight. Like uh, maybe the 1900s, you know, like the first decade of the 1900s were for like air flight. And I I think kind of documenting people's sort of understanding and the expectations of that might be kind of neat for future generations to look back on. And then think that we did foresee that happening? Or some of us foresee it, some of us, yeah, you know, possibly, just kind of like yeah. how we saw the future. So I'm pretty optimistic. So. Yes, me, me as well. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Yeah.